Well, the storm this big has local hospitals getting ready for an aftermath. The emergency room at St. Mary's already treating weather-related injuries from yesterday's storm. They expect to see many more tonight and tomorrow. Lizzie Mitri is outside. Tell us what conditions are like so far and how you can stay safe. Hello, Lizzie. Hello, you can see the storm has started. The snow is falling, but really it's the wind that's blowing the snow. You can see behind me, in front of me. So hopefully you're already warm at home. Uh, there, there are a lot of things to worry about here with this kind of weather. Uh, frostbite is a major concern with these strong winds. Doctors say exposed skin can freeze in a matter of minutes with this wind chill. Of course, cleaning up after the storm is also another issue. The St. Mary's ER has seen about 20 snowblower related injuries injuries in the past few weeks and twice that number with back pains and fractures after slips and falls. It's been really bad and we expect, especially over the next few days after the blizzard, a lot more patients in. They prepared extra beds for more than 40 hospital workers sleeping over tonight. That way they'll have enough people at work tomorrow to avoid visiting the hospital yourself. Doctors say take it slow shoveling tomorrow. Take breaks if you feel chest pains. See your doctor if it continues. Now the ER staff at St. Mary's says they'll have extra people on call tomorrow. And one doctor even told me he would be ready to ski into work if he has to. All right, stay warm yourself, Lizzie. Thanks so much.